All right, so this morning I did a breakdown of the Edmonton game last night, and I briefly talked about the waved off goal. For those who missed the game and the video, there was basically a controversial goalie interference call that ended with not only Edmonton not getting a goal, but also a penalty, which led to a goal going the other way. One element of my analysis that you guys pushed back heavily against was when I said the refs on ice called it no goal. And if you look, the ref here clearly does indicate there is a goal. This is important because whatever the refs call on ice is the presumptive call and there's got to be substantial evidence to overturn that on a booth review. Here's the thing I should have explained at the time and this was also confirmed on today's episode of 32 Thoughts. The refs actually have time after a call is made to discuss it amongst themselves before the video review. So regardless of what one ref says, the team can come together, change their mind without reviewing the footage, and make an official on-ice determination. And that's why, if you watch, the refs specifically say that the call on the ice was no goal. The call on the ice is no goal. That's also why Edmonton had the burden of doing the review and why they eventually ended up getting a penalty for delay of game. Admittedly, I don't have a bunch of examples of this happening because it's not super notable or something you'd put away in your memory. I do remember, however, that Giordano last year basically talked the refs into undoing a minor penalty call, which you actually can't even do on a booth review. Regarding the actual call, I've already said, I think goalie interference is one of the hardest calls in the NHL to get right. It's so subjective. I'm not going to argue about whether Kane should or shouldn't have knocked into the goalie after being pushed. I don't think anyone will get their mind changed from what their gut instinct is here, but that's kind of the breakdown for those of you who are seeing where some of the outrage is coming from.